Today's lesson is about departments. We had the locations, we did it in a previous session. Today we're going to spend a little bit of time on departments. It's recommended to create at least one department. That department can be found under admin, your organization, and then there's the departments. By default, the system basically comes with the one that's called administration. All the way to your right, you can see that's a system department. So by default, there's already a department set up. You have the ability to edit this one, which is good. So you change the name, uh, you can change the headquarters, the meaning the location where it is. Uh, if you want to give it a number, you can even do that. You have the resources that are being assigned to that. And also you can assign work types. In this case, there's nothing that we have assigned to it. Like I said, it's recommended to have at least one department, but as you can see in this example, uh, we created a couple of more uh, departments, of course, depending on how you would like to have your automation done. But to have different kind of uh, departments is that you can choose to have different resources set per department. Technically, you should do first your departments and then add your resources. But as I just showed you, uh, once you have all your resources set up, you still have the ability to edit the department and put the resources in there. Departments are a great option for reporting and for sharing dashboards to the whole department at once. Because now you have a kind of a, a grouping of people in a specific department and you just create a dashboard for that department and you don't have to uh, wonder about changing or adding resources every time that might want to be added or be leaving. Um, it's also helpful to make certain kind of work types available for just that department. As you saw, for example, I can open up this service delivery uh, work group. And then we have work types. And in this case, I can say there's, in this case, there's already a, a server work type only in here. So this work type is only available for that department, for those resources that are in that department. I hope that gives you a little bit more clarity about what the departments are. Again, we give you some options. If you just started out with uh, Autodesk and it, it comes out as too much uh, overhead for you, like I said, we can just start with the basic default department that's in there, administration. We have seen many companies just running with that. And once you move along, you can then add more and more departments as you go. That's all.